Alright guys, welcome back. So I've got the Ruger Security 380 on the table and I wanted to do a few things with this video today. As you know, the Ruger Security 380 is a recent offering by Ruger. It's kind of a compact slash subcompact size 380 with a significantly longer barrel than say something like the Ruger LCP Max, which I've also got here on the table right here. Uh, comes in a 3.42 inches barrel length. You've got a 10 plus 1 magazine included. You've got a flush base plate, so you don't have to have the pinky extension. You could have it flush if you want to make it a smaller form factor for carrying. And you've also got the 15 plus 1 magazine right here, which makes it a very capable self-defense platform. you got a thumb safety right here. You've got a very, very easy to rack slide. If you'll check out my video, why first time female firearms owners matter most, it'll explain the proliferation of more manufacturers offering platforms like this that are very easy to rack. So this is the easiest rack semi-auto pistol that I've ever owned. You've got these cocking ears back here to make it even easier to access. You've got slide cuts in the front with weight relieving windows right here but also what it does is gives you a really good easy point to rack the slide up front the rest of it you got kind of got those standard ruger slide serrations back here up front uh, you've got a rail for mounting a light laser etc you've got kind of that standard grip texturing from the ruger security 9. so let's put this on the gauge and see exactly what kind of trigger pull weight we've got got it zeroed out you've also got the trigger safety all right, so my first pull I got just at five pounds. Let's zero that out and try it again. As you know, the protocol is for three pulls. All right, so shade over five and a half pounds that time. All right, so between five and five and a half pounds. So I'm gonna say this trigger pull is between five and five and a half pounds. If you wanna walk through the pull with me, you've got take up to kind of an undefined wall where it pulls, pulls through, and then you finally break right at the rear of the grip. The reset is reset is right there. So once it resets, it's a shorter pull, but when I shot it at the range, you'll see I wasn't shooting it as well as, say, the equalizer because I wasn't exactly sure where the break was happening because you can see you've got a significant amount of travel after you hit this initial wall. It's not a hard wall by any means. Moving on to size comparisons, I've got the Glock 19 on the table here for reference. You see here, bring this up to the camera. You've got a significantly short, you've got a shorter barrel length, which contributes to a shorter slide length. In terms of the rear of the grip, with the pinky extension, it flushes out right to a compact size, but in terms of the actual grip length, I'd have to say this is more of a subcompact size than a compact. You can see there the difference between the four inch barrel of the 19 and the 3.4 inch barrel of the 380. In terms of width though, in terms of grip width, they feel very similar. This actually stacks up in size a lot more closely to my Glock 29, my subcompact Glock. You'll see here they're almost identical in size. That gives you a better reference. Obviously the 29 has a slightly longer barrel as well, but in terms of the grip frame and everything else, it lines up very closely to a 29. And then finally, a quick size comparison with the Ruger LCP Max. I've got the 12 round magazine on here for reference.
you see there with the pinky extension it's longer but not by that much really and as you know with the 12 round mag you're getting 12 plus 1 so 13 versus this 10 plus 1 the Ruger Security 380 is going to offer a few advantages. You're going to have a much better velocity, a much better chance of expansion. It's going to be significantly easier to shoot, especially for someone that isn't a seasoned shooter. The fiber optic sight with a blacked out rear is a nice touch as well. I think Ruger has a home run on their hands here. It's got the easiest to rack slide of any of the new pistols that are aimed at this new wave of first time female firearms owners. It's very easy to manipulate. It's got just enough grip length to ensure a full grip on the pistol. When paired with some of the modern ammo offerings for 380 available now, I've got some of this Liberty ammunition on the table that I chronographed myself in another video. Check that out. It's called Chihuahua with Pitbull Bite. I'll leave a card in here as well. And I got just shy of 1500 feet per second out of this 2.8 inch barrel 380 LCP Max. So you're gonna only increase the effectiveness with this security 380. I think we're seeing a resurgence in the popularity of 380 for concealed carry, especially among perhaps novice or first time firearms owners that are just interested in owning one platform, at least initially. This comes in at 19.7 ounces total weight, so it's still fairly light. The Beretta ADX, which was just released this week, comes in at 25 ounces, which is basically getting you right into the size of a Glock 19 or another comparable polymer striker fired compact nine millimeter. So that was interesting to me as well. But as always, I'm curious to hear what you think, if this is something you consider for yourself, or if there's a loved one or someone in your family that you would recommend this platform to, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check out the description below for links to my Patreon, my spread shop, my Amazon storefront. Thanks for joining me on the journey. I think more options for a wider demographic of firearms owners is always a good thing, and it looks like this Ruger Security 380 is fitting the bill exactly. LW Road, out.